This is Z Platt's Fireside Chats. I'm Matthew Butterly. I am interviewing Jen DeMaglio, our featured artist of 2014. Now, Jen. If you, <laughs> if you had to pick one artist, who do you think your work most resembles? Who would it be? Um, I think that resembles is kind of a loaded question. It's more fair to say, like, who do you, who are you inspired by? Um, David Hawkins has been really influential in all of our, I've researched him a lot, mainly his photography, I wouldn't say his painting. Um, I look for kind of his linear perspective and his line choice. Um, I would say, a collage artist and really into contemporary artist Ellie Coven right now. Craven. Um, again, he does this folding with perspective. It's really interesting with this figural work. And I know I'm not a figural artist, but mm -hmm. I look at that a lot. That's cool. That's definitely a good way to answer that question. <laughs> Thanks. Um, so, how many times a day do you want to destroy your work and start over? That's a funny question uh, because I believe that, well, once part of the process for me is definitely becoming frustrated. And once I know that I'm frustrated and like I'm working on a piece and it's super uncertain, I know I'm like on the right path. Um, and I tend to overthink things and control. So towards the finished state or final for whatever that means. Um, when that's starting to approach, I decide to make like one last impulsive decision or mark on whatever media, whatever piece I'm working on, so that it's kind of taking away that control, controlling aspect of my work. I'm not going to destroy it or... Yeah, I mean, you'd be surprised though. I, I definitely let a piece sit sit around for like months. I mean, maybe even a week is a long time to put something aside, but I'll pick up something from last year and decide to work into it completely different. And that might be what it needed. It needed to sit around and then get covered in some. Yeah, some so it's like yeah. great if I can get that mm -hmm. Cool. So what sparked the creativity of went into your pieces? Or like go into your pieces? Like what sparks the creativity? Um, I'm really interested in process. So how something is getting done is just as important as the concept of how it works. Um, I'm really into, like especially in my painting or my collage work, but not the digital illustrations. Mm -hmm. um, I'll make a mark and then I'll fall in love with them, that mark and I'll want to save it, then I'll go to mix something up or go to grab something else, and then I'll, I'll just cover it. So I don't know why it could be super impulsive, yeah. but when I tend to focus on something, I do the exact opposite, which is interesting. That's so, interesting. Yeah. That's cool. I guess the next one is like, how do you find inspirations for your work? Um, what I'm reading, what I'm seeing, I mean, even like where I'm standing, the environment I'm in, who I'm talking to that day, the mood that I'm in, everything's kind of derivative in my work. Um, yeah, I, I would say I just, I'm really attuned to looking around and seeing and listening um, to those quiet moments because I think that they speak loudly in work. That's it, kind of from everyone else. Mm -hmm. Well, this question has been interesting. What is your spirit animal and why? <laughs> um, first animal that comes to my mind when you ask that question is a monkey, and I'm not sure why. So. <laughs> <laughs> not sure. All right, well, that's fair enough. Well, so, what age did you discover your passion for art? Um, I've always had an interest in art, but that's that generic like, been playing with crayon since I was four kind of dancer, so I don't think that that was it. I was always more of an athlete, and I fell into a 
like a true passion for art. I was lucky to fall into it. But it was definitely later than you, know, you hear of artists that say that they were drawing like Picasso at the age of two. And I just, I'm not calling bullshit, but. Yeah, no, for sure. Cool. Um, if you had one superpower, what would it be? Understanding. I think that that's like underrated for superpower. Why would that be? Because it, I don't know, people misunderstand a lot. So understanding. Just have like. I think that would eliminate a lot of problems in this world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Cool. If you have dinner, or drinks with any artist, current or from history, who would it be and uh, what drink would you have and why? I want to say David Hockney because I've just researched his work so much. Um, but I think like going back and not even an artist but Gertrude Stein like, you know, her salons back yeah. in the 1920s. She definitely knew how to have a good time, and I'd probably have whiskey. Nice, just like on the rocks? Straight up, yeah. Nice. <laughs> cool. How do you feel about ebooks versus print books? Print. <laughs> print all the way? Yeah. I mean, it's ebooks, it's great, they're accessible, but print, definitely, especially because it's dying, dying art form. Yeah, it's in danger, that's for sure. Um, what songs define your work, work ethic? Songs? Um, that's interesting. I wouldn't even really know what to say. Um, I'm not sure. I like, I listen to you a lot of different types of music, so they impact my work in different ways, but I'm not sure I really have an answer, a clear answer for that. Yeah, it's a hard question to yeah. answer. Mm -hmm. Cool, we'll skip that one. <laughs> if you had the chance to solve world hunger or have an endless supply of candy, what kind of candy would you get? Yeah. Or would you solve world hunger? Yeah, I think that I would not use candy to solve world hunger. So, I'm not sure how I would go about solving world hunger, but it wouldn't be about the use of candy. That's all I'm going to say for that yeah. one. What is your least favorite word? I. I. Like I have. Yeah, not like I. Yeah. What motivates you as an artist? What motivates me? Um, mm, the thoughts that can't really be said with words. That's a great answer. Thanks, Matt. All right, just one last question for you. It's a hard one, though. Unicorn or narwhal? What is your favorite? Unicorn. Unicorns? to uh, agree with you on that one. <laughs> cool, thank you. Awesome. Jen DiMatteo, our 2014 feature artist for Z-Plat. This is Z-Plat Fireplace Sessions. Thank you. Thanks for having me.